Hi and welcome back to another episode on how to defend. So over here I have QRadar running. So QRadar is a security monitoring platform that can be used to actually monitor for potential cyber attacks in the environment. So over here we have the community edition running. So this is an addition that you can quickly install into your test environment for you to actually do threat simulation, to learn about offenses, how you can actually create use cases and so on. So this is a wonderful platform for you to quickly get it up and running and do all your testing quickly and be able to learn more about QRadar. So let us go ahead and log in into the console. So I have the username and I have the password. So we can go ahead and log in directly into the platform. So once you have logged into the platform, you'll be greeted with the dashboard so directly from here we can see onto the dashboard page we are under the threat and security monitoring so we also have different kind of other components so i can zoom in a little so it's easier for you to see so we have application overview overview we have compliance network risk monitoring and so on so of course the primary usage of q radar can be beyond threat and security monitoring so over here, we can see all the offenses that has been triggered. So offenses depend on the kind of rules that are used. And one of those very, very simple way of actually looking at rules or security use cases is to think about how an attack occur. So most of the time, if you look at a device scanning other devices in the network, that could possibly constitute as a beginning of a cyber attack. And one of those things that we can utilize as an application is what we call the experience center that you can download very quickly into QRadar, install it, deploy it, and then start running all this threat simulation. So on the right side, we have experience center. So you can go ahead and click on experience center. And once you click on it, it has an overview of QRadar. And the most important part is what we call the threat simulator. So go ahead and click onto the threat simulator. So once I click on the threat simulator, we can look at all these potential threats that we can run directly into QRadar for us to learn about the different kind of cyber attacks. So if I go under lock activity, okay, so once we're in lock activity, we're looking at all the locks that are actually being sent directly into QRadar. So in our case, what we are going to do is we can launch any of these threats. So in our case, perhaps we can do a launching of a phishing mail attack. So we can actually go ahead and click run on that. So go ahead and click run. And if you look at the lock activity, we'll begin receiving new kinds of locks that has to do with phishing mail attacks. Okay, so over here, we are looking at all these events coming in. So we have a lot of information message. And with the phishing mail attack that is currently being launched, we can see a lot more different kind of lock activities that are coming in. So we can actually click on read more to actually give us more details about what this attack actually has embedded into so what we can see here we have the phishing mail all right so phishing is a act where a fake email that is being sent to the user and a user could open it up and that could lead to opening up a pdf document an excel sheet that we have seen all these different kind of cyber attacks in this channel okay and then we have the simulation of the attack and how do we do a detection on those attacks if user receive an email from a funny site from a funny email address with uh, malicious links or with documents that actually have signatures of a malicious file. So those will be telltale signs of an attack going on. Okay, so we can go ahead and stop the phishing mail attack. All right, so if you want to run other kind of attacks, we can also do that too. So for example, we have Sysmon PowerShell use cases. So we can go ahead and click on run. So over here, as I zoom in a little more and I click on it, it would actually tell us more information about it. So we can click on read more. So here we can zoom in again. So we have Sysmon. All right, so it is a Microsoft Windows system service. All right, so it actually helps us detect suspicious behavior after a user download a file attachment and runs it on a Windows workstation. So go ahead and click run on it and we'll be able to begin generating the different kind of attacks. As you can see over here, we have process created, we have PowerShell has been launched. So we have all this data that is being fed into Curator directly or generated 
integrated within QRadar so that you can quickly learn about how threats come about, what are the indicators of attacks, indicators of compromise, and all these are great ways for us to learn about how cyber attack occurs. So let's let it run for a couple more minutes and then we will actually go under our fences to look up for all these newly created offenses. And of course, uh, we can actually stop over here so we can see all this creation. And of course, the great thing is that from the lock source, it actually spelled out the experience center. Okay, so I can go ahead and click on stop. And I can actually put the experience center back again, collapse it back again, and we can pause the reading or viewing of all these lock sources coming in. So we can actually click on, for example, okay, we can zoom in a little more. It says, PowerShell has been launched in a compromised host sysmon. All right, so we can double click on that. Okay, and once you double click on it, it will give us more information about this particular attack. So here we can see that we have this event information. So we have the username, tiger-pc slash tiger, and then we have a miscellaneous malware. Okay, we have the magnitude, relevance, severity of this attack, and what is the credibility of it. So we have all these different details and data over here, like lock source type, the start time of the attack, the CRE description, okay, and we can scroll down further and we can see the payload information. So payload are basically event information that is being sent to QRA from different kinds of sources. So it could be multiple sources that is coming in. So when you have a power shell that has been launched and is, for example, it is a reverse shell that is coming in using PowerShell to take control of the machine. So we have one video tutorial about using PowerShell attacks. And if you scroll down a little more, we can see the custom rules. So all these are the rules that got triggered as part of the attack. So you can actually go ahead and click on them to understand more about it. So again, we are seeing all this information. We're seeing all this data. So if you click under offenses, so offenses will be triggered showing us all these kind of attacks that's happening. So we can actually click under the first one, for example, PowerShell has been launched. So we can double click on it. So once you double click on it, it will load more information so we have events all right so we have events we have flows and we have the start time of the attack how long the attack took so it was for 47 seconds and here we can see the description okay so powershell information source destination ip which network was being infected or affected by this kind of attack and if you scroll down some more we can see the major categories of all these attacks and we can also use this experience center alongside pulse app Okay, so if you click under the Pulse app, again, as introduced earlier, Pulse app was a great way for us to actually visualize the kind of offenses that are happening. So if you look at the most recent offenses, we can look at the magnitude. PowerShell has been launched, so we can actually click on that. And same thing, it will open up more information for us to drill down into. And we can also go back into the offense overview. We can click under summary view as well to look at more details about the attacks that are happening, the magnitude, the we can see like high magnitude, medium magnitude, low magnitude. So within a glance, we can see the attacks that are happening within the environment. All right, and of course, as mentioned earlier, we also have to track globe that is running all the time so again we can launch all these experience center attacks so not just the powershell use cases you can also explore on like targeted attack so you can click on run so once again i hope you have learned something valuable in today's tutorial and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and i'll try my best to answer any of your questions so remember to like share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial thank you so much once again for watching